Toastmaster. On the 15th of June 2011, I arrived in Saigon City. I didn't know anybody, and I'd never lived in another country before. Very quickly, my agent got me an interview at Hockmon Informatic Language School, where I got a job as an English teacher. <coughs> Within two weeks, I had been to meetings at UEH and Saigon Toastmasters. That's where I met Harris. <laughs> Harris, said, <laughs> Harris said, we should do coffee later on in the week. So he made arrangements. And then at the last minute, he cancelled <laughs> <laughs> He hasn't changed. <laughs> I used to get a taxi from Hockmon to meetings here at Saigon City, uh, Saigon Toastmasters. And then afterwards, I would go to District 1 and explore the city. One of the things I noticed about Vietnamese is they have beautiful smiles. When they smile, their whole face just glows. And the other thing I noticed about Vietnamese, they were very concerned for you. When I was walking around District 1, I'd come to an intersection and I'd be looking at the, the street, street names and I'd be working them out and a voice would come out. Where you go? Where you go? <laughs> and I turned around and there was an old man sitting on a motorbike. <laughs> so I said, I go this way. <laughs> he said, no, where you go, where you go? <laughs> and I said, okay. I go this way. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> and he changed his tone of his voice. He said, motorbike taxi? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh, no thanks, I I I'm right. Then, he said the magic word. He said, very cheap, very cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so, I said, ah, very cheap, very cheap. And then, he smiled, we had a connection. <laughs> he said, oh yes, very cheap, very cheap. <laughs> so I said, okay, here's 100,000 dong. Take me to Hockmon. <laughs> he said, Hockmon, no. <laughs> Hockmon, free. <laughs> I said, hang on. You said, very cheap. Very cheap. He said, yes, Hockmon, 300,000. Very cheap. Very cheap. <laughs> Now, I knew that for fuel it would cost him 20, 25,000, uh, From here to Hockmon, an hour and a quarter, hour and a half. <coughs> and a, a, a car taxi would be 350, 400,000. Mm. So, that's too much. <coughs> so, I looked at him, straight in the eye. I said, okay, <laughs> we go. So, we're riding back to Hock One. I'm thinking, these guys, they're too good for me. I'm going to buy a motorbike. So I did. And a few weeks later, I parked it just outside my front door. And I walked inside and I grabbed some books. And I came back out. And was gone. <laughs> Someone else had got a motorbike. Fiji. <laughs> and then all my neighbours, they all heard about my bike being stolen. So they started knocking my door. And they said, be very, very careful and keep your bike inside all the time. Then the school heard about it, and all the other teachers came up to me and said, be very, very careful and keep your bike inside all the time. 
want to pay my rent to my landlady. And she said, Are you very, very careful? <laughs> Keep my bike inside all the time. I'd be walking down the street, and complete strangers would walk up to me and say, Be very, very careful. <laughs> Keep your bike inside. So I got another one. And after I've been riding around for a bit, I a whole new world opened up. I learned a new language. You're riding along. And just in, in case someone hadn't seen you, you'd go, beep. Just watch where you're going. Beep, beep. Get out of the road. Beep, beep. <laughs> or, you idiot, watch out to yourself. Beep. <laughs> and then there's these taxi drivers. <clears throat> Very dangerous. Taxi drivers, they drive anywhere they like. They stop anywhere they like. They turn around anywhere they like. They park anywhere they like. But if you're riding along and you look like you're thinking about riding too close to them, beep! So I figured out that taxi drivers are really bike riders driving taxis. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've now been in Vietnam for 18 terrific months. And I tell my family and all my friends that Vietnamese have, Vietnamese, Vietnam is the land of smiles. Because whatever way you look at it, there's always something to smile about.